Here we are again, Thursday, Cornishman Day today. I hope everybody's all right. I haven't had a chance to have a look at the Cornishman yet, but I will. Uh, so the weather out there isn't so bad, is it? So uh, it's Salvation Army down Ailes open today, 10 till 12. But next week, next Saturday, the 16th, I should be down there doing a tombola stall, so raising money for Ukraine. So if you get a chance to go there, come on down to Ailes Salvation Army. <clears throat> now, I've got a few birthdays here today. Happy birthday to Heather Kirkham, Sandra Angove, that's my next door neighbour there, Andrew Oskin, Stevie McCrindle, he used to know, well, Stevie used to work down Heritage Centre. Um, but happy birthday to you all, and I got a special birthday tomorrow, which is actually a very, very special birthday to a dear friend of ours, Teresa Jams from down near Trelawney. Happy birthday tomorrow, Teresa, just enjoy your days, all right, all of me. Now, I'm doing Herbert Lee here today. This one's Richard Henry's bad start. Everything Richard Henry done day was wrong. First thing, when he come, when he come down in the morning, he upset the cat's milk. And when mother was going to scatten over the head, she struck her hand against the table and broke the cup that father had left there after shaving. You must have got out of the bed the wrong side, boy, she, she said. Can't do that, he replied, because one side is up against wool. To make matters worse, she caught him smoking a cigarette. What would your father say if he saw you, she asked. Oh, he'd be some mad. I know he would, because they's his cigarettes. Like the old saying, it never rains, but it pours. Feather had just come down from upstairs and said Richard Henry had taken some money out of his coat pocket. How dare you say that, said Mother. Tis an awful thing to say about your own boy. Why, it might have been me. No, no, I'm sure about that, he replied, uh, said Feather, because there was some money left. I only took half a crown. I lent it yesterday to pay boy Willie, cried Richard Henry. What's all this? asked Mother. First I heard anything about it. Feather wished by this time he didn't say nothing about the money. Well, tis like this here. Boy Willie, poor chap, asked me to lend him five shillings, but only to give him half a crown. Then, said he, I should owe an half a crown, and he would owe me one, and that would make him right. So to show him I was as smart as he, I gave him the half a crown. To change the subject, father asked Richard Henry if he'd done all his homework afore he went school. All except one question was the reply, and I can't do that. Well, what is it? I bet I know the answer. What is untold wealth, replied Richard Henry. Easy, says Feather. Tis something you haven't put upon your income tax papers. Got me right. Yesterday, I put down he cut the tree down with a saw. Teacher, she crossed out that and wrote a hatchet. Can't expect a woman to know, so I altered into dag. After school, he came home wet to the skin. Mrs. James was there when he tumbled in the river and asked now he come to do that. He replied, I didn't come to do that, but to pick blackberries. Now off to bed you go, said Mother, and mind you take off your stockings. Thanks very much. Have a nice weekend.